by YouTubers. Here's a brief guide to setting yourself up your own Skyblock server. Um, I'll step through getting it up and running with uh, just the vanilla software. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself uh, all the bits and pieces you need. So firstly you need to download yourself the executable from Minecraft. So all the links will be in the description. So minecraft.net slash download is the place and you want to be grabbing the Minecraft server executable and popping that in a local folder. The other thing that you're going to need is the zip file from the Skyblock thread. So that's uh, on page one of the thread. So it's just down here and you'll find the download in the top. So down here, download Skyblock 2.1. So that's going to give you the, uh, the zip file that you need to find it. So I have already uh, grabbed the executable. So it's sitting in this folder here and I have the zip so I tend to use 7-zip so I'm just going to open this up so we can have a look at it so in here you'll see the skyblock folder inside the zip file so this is all the information about the world that you need so you see over in the, um, the actual service folder there's nothing there as yet so if you uh, hit the executable it's going to uh, put something, ask you questions and you'll run it, you'll get a uh, folder pop-up and it's going to be running the server for you. So when it says it's all done, you click down the bottom and type stop. So that shuts the server down again. So that is uh, saving everything, sorting it all out. Now this will allow you to edit some of the files in here. So the thing you need to do so that you can get yourself sorted is uh, edit the ops.txt file. So that's come up here for me. So I'm going to put my uh, Minecraft name in here. Mr. The Hob. So there we are. Save. We'll save that. So that's done. Now, to get yourself your world. So in your Skyblock server folder that you've just created by running the executable, it gives you a world folder. Now this is where all the information about the Skyblock world itself is. So what you need to do is delete everything in here. The whole lot. Get rid of it. And then we copy all of the information from inside the zip file into that world folder. So that should all be there now. And then you go up to the Skyblock server level and you open and run the executable. So that's going to be cranking itself up. So there we go. So that's all good. So it's converting the world, you can see, because it's an earlier version of the Minecraft uh, world. So it's uh, chomping its way through, and it's now done and ready. So I will crank myself up uh, a Minecraft client. So I will pull that across so we can have a look at that. So if I uh, log in, as I do, we now have my Minecraft client. So this should allow us to log into that server. So you can either find what the IP address of your own uh, computer is, or um, due to uh, the way that uh, the network works, you can usually log into a multiplayer. So if I direct connect, I should be able to connect to 127.0.0.1 and that should just let me join the server. So here we go. Oh, puts me into here. Now as you've seen I've uh, ha, there we go, flying's not enabled. I've got I've got um, Zom's mod pack loaded so it, uh, it allows me to fly but it's not going to let me fly on the server. So you've got a few options. You can um, you can let yourself die a few times and uh, hope that you get back onto the island or you can attempt to get yourself so type yourself in here and change your game mode. Uh, so uh, it's been a while. So if you can uh, change yourself to, uh, to creative, you can then fly. Or you can die a few times and eventually, if you're lucky, you will get back onto the island. So 
This is a bit annoying. So we can just keep respawning. What uh, what we did was uh, we had a different. Uh, so if we jump in here and we stop the server. Now, if you go back in here and look at the server properties files, this will actually let you go in here and allow me to fly. So you can actually change the world type in here for a start if you want to. So you'll see here game mode zero. So you can change it to, to a one and that'll make it creative as soon as you log in. Or you can go down, in my case, uh, I want it to allow me to fly. So we're at level name, world, allow flight. Here we go. So if I make this true, then my mod's going to work for it. So if I make that true, save it. Now if I start the server again, this time when I connect up, there we go, it started. So if I go into multiplayer, direct connect, join the server, oh, respawn, now I'm flying. Now because I'm using Zom's mod pack, I can just fly up. Or alternatively, you could um, set yourself, set your game to creative, and then once you've got yourself into the right place, you can uh, then set your spawn point. So, see, it actually spawned me way off the island. Here's our island, one island. So, if I'm, if I get myself over here, stop flying. Okay, I'm still in survival mode. I should be able to. Uh, I get uh, spawn point, Mr. The Hob. There we go. So it's set my spawn to here now. So that should, with luck, spawn me back here whenever I die. So I now have myself a Skyblock server. There we go. A chest, lava and ice. So carry on, folks. Enjoy. Thanks very much.